Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. We are on our chocobo and we're finding our way to Bermica. But we kind of got sidetracked along the way. And, well, there's a couple of things we can get sidetracked out. Check it out. It's another one of the gates beneath the mist line. Now, this was the gate that apparently the rest of Tantalus had found their way to while trying to escape. I don't know how they managed to get through that gate, because we're unable to do so here. This is one of the gates. Is that a treasure chest? It's already gotten. Did I, was I already here? Can't remember. I filmed the last episode like three weeks ago. Whatever, moving on. How they were able to get through the gate, though, is a bit of a mystery, because they're all locked off. All the lower gates in... Um, both Lindblom and Alexandria have been blocked off. Now, the same is not true for Bermica because we'll find out later on that Bermica is actually underneath the mist line. Um, all right, I'm kind of way off of where I need to be. Before I, I could actually like end this section of the game right around now, but you know. There's something over here we can actually go and do. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. I'm going to take the time to go and do this, even though I could do it much later on in the game. And the first time I played through the game, I actually did it much later on. But, you know, I think it, uh, so the game is a little bit better for doing it now. Hey, it's Mogster and the other one, where they've been giving us the tutorials throughout the entire game that I've been ignoring. Oh, you can get the fights here. I forgot about that. What do we have here? Just some little... some little, uh, things. Ah, alright. Start killing. Ha! Potion! Wow, these things are tough. Maybe I shouldn't screw around with them. I love the character design in this game. By ca I mean enemy design in this game. I just think it all looks awesome. Thunder since they're water enemies. Crazy damage of the Zondon. Eh. Alright, I uh, took some damage there, but I... I'm not going to bother healing up right now. Hello. Oh, he's hungry. It's hungry. Whatever. Okay, you eat frogs. Oh, that other one out there is eating frogs, too. Some weird creatures we got here. Alright, capture a frog. You have to wait till they jump on land. Okay, I am not even going to bother taking a stab at this guy's pronunciation of his name. It's Quinna. I'm going to go with Quinna. Never mind. Quinna, I don't care if you think I'm wrong or not.
Yeah, why not? Of course he knows him. He identified him as a bigot. Of course he knows who he is. Alright, we just picked up a new party member is what we just did. Quina! Uses a fork! Hmm, high tide. Or high t okay. Can I equip crap I already have? So just uh, stick whatever you have on him. Or her. I don't know what Quinn is actually supposed to be. Asexual creature, I imagine. What does high tide do? Trans faster. Nice. And we have antibody. That's always good. Don't want to get poisoned while running around out there in the field. Alrighty, alrighty. Here we go. Our new character, Quinna, is a kind of a blue mage in this game. Not going to see it until we get into a fight. Okay, a mini game just to capture frogs. The frogs are kind of hard to get because they don't. They stay in the water and you can't go in there, just like before. So you gotta sort of learn their pattern and be in the right place at the right time. And I guess don't stand where they're gonna jump out at. Oh, nice. Damn frogs. Jumpy little bastards. I guess maybe if I clear out all the males or females or something from here, though maybe they'll all go extinct or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done with this. Get the hell out of here. Try to get into a fight so we can see Quinn a fight, you know. Okay, Quinn is a big fella. Blue Mage essentially means that Quinna will be able to sort of use attacks, enemy attacks. But he can't just um, use them. Quinna has like no abilities. So we're going to have to go and use the Eat command on enemies for Quinna to be able to consume them, to, to use their power. Now if Quinna were conscious right now, I'd be able to demonstrate to you. But the Eat command gives um, Quinnicos and sort of like 
shakes his fork around and tries to tries to consume the enemy. Oh, it's dead. No. And if successfully done, you can gain some blue magic ability. Of course, um, it's not just going to let you use the eat command on an enemy like first thing you see. You're going to have to actually like wear it down a little bit. Hit it with the other characters or with Quinna so you can go and once its HP gets low enough, then you can try to consume it with the eat command. But anyway, we got Quinna, and I'm going to move on. <sighs> Man, I kind of want to demonstrate the eat command before I end the episode. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get out, run in circles until I get into a fight, demonstrate that, then the end the episode. There we go. Three enemies, that's perfect. Preemptive strike. Shit. I just had Sedan take BV out. Okay, I'm gonna try eating this one. Until weaker, alright. Ah, damn, Zidane's gonna trance. Damn it. <laughs> trance in a fight that I don't want to win immediately. Okay, it's not dead yet. Come on, eat it. Pumpkin head! Let's wait for... Maybe, I don't know if I can use it in this fight or not. But, um... Pumpkin head, where is it? There it is. Okay. Difference between your maximum and minima, uh, current HP. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's a new ability. Excuse this. See what happens. Crazy damage. So, if you're going to use Quinn out a lot, Use the eat ability a lot, because you're going to want to get as many abilities for this weird bastard as you can. And that's the end of the episode. <laughs>